Charo Phycians, ancestor of all land greens, developed unique way of copulation. Now they have a flagellated sperm, and with this characteristic learn to colonate the terrestrial nation. While spores produced in sporangia, multicellular gametangia, gametophyte has both parts. Archegonium produces eggs, and antheridium give them legs. The bee sperm as it's shaped like a heart. Like a heart. Life cycle of a fern. It's a diploid turn. At fertilization. Haploid is one end. Diploid to end. Alternating generations. Cryophytes are real bosses. Hornworts, liverworts, and tremosses are the three divisions of the system. Gametophyte is the dominant stage. Non-vascular plants engage. They are the best, and I am insisting. Plants with vascular tissue. Growing big is what ensues. Thanks to xylem and flow. Club mosses and ferns are alright. Dominant stage is the sporophyte. And sperm still can swim to find their home. Find their home. Life cycle of a fern takes a diploid turn at fertilization. And haploid is one end, diploid to end, alternation generations. Last but not least, they know how to spread their seeds, seed bearing vascular plants. Gymnosperms have a cone, naked with muscle tone, that gives them a second chance. Angiosperms have power, better known as a flower, carpal has stigma and style. Male parts are a stamen, and for this I have to say amen, it's been that way for a while, for a while. Life cycle of a fern hits a diploid turn at fertilization. Haploid is one end, diploid to end, alternating generations. Life cycle of a fern. Life cycle of a fern.